Well, to our top story tonight at 6, an early morning fire in Macon leaves a business trying to salvage what it can. Firefighters say flames engulfed a building and damaged others. 41 NBC's Chip Matthews was there as crews put out hot spots. Rain did not stop a fire from destroying Agape Nursery in Macon Friday. At 3.30 in the morning, fire crews received a call for a structure fire. Macon Bib Fire Department Captain Roderick Culvert described the scene. Fire. It was everywhere. Um, when we first got here, of course, there's several buildings on this property. We didn't know exactly what it was. Um, when we got in to make some assessment, we did find that it was the nursery that was burning. Located on the Wesley Glen Ministries property, owner of Agape Nursery, Victor Davidson leases space for the business. The fire destroyed the main office building. The fire also damaged a shed and greenhouse. Dr. Tyler Plaxico, president and CEO of Wesley Glen Ministry, says the owner of Agape also lost business equipment. Uh, office uh, supplies, his uh, computers, blowers, weed eaters, uh, most of his uh, machines used for cutting grass, uh, all those kinds of things. Just take a look at this truck parked roughly 12 feet from a shed that burned here at the nursery. Firefighters say radiant heat caused the damage you see here, and that should give you an idea of just how hot this fire burned. Fire crews say it took half an hour to put out the blaze. It will take longer to rebuild. It's going to be pretty hard for him, uh, but uh, he's got uh, the ability to rebuild, and so we're grateful for that. Captain Calvert says there are no injuries associated with the incident. In Macon, Chip Matthews, 41 NBC News. West Glen Ministries told us they relocated residents who live in two homes on the property to two other Wesley Glen Ministries properties.